everyone, it's the Arma Gamer. Today I will be showing you how to make a realistic diamonds with the Cycles Render Engine. The Cycles Render Engine is like the HD for Blender. It's like HD. I don't have an example right now, but I did the diamonds a lot of time. Now I want to do a nice little tutorial to you. So let's begin. First, we're going to go in Cycles Render. To do this, where it says, go look up where it says Blender Render. Click on that then click cycles render so now we're going to default to delete our default cube to do this press delete and click there so now we're going to add an icosphere to do this press shift a and then icosphere or you can do this by going here to add mesh icosphere so now let's go in bottom view to do this click here view and then bottom you can do this by pressing control 7 on your numpad so now let's go in edit mode to go in edit mode press tab or you can do this by going here and clicking edit mode so now let's deselect everything to do this press a then let's use the box select box select is like um, for selecting vertices but like that I don't know how to say that but you know uh, dragging something around so now when you have this, press B and then s drag around those vertices that you see. So now press S to scale down. Scale it down to something like that. So now zoom in on this thing. So now again, press delete and then click faces. So now we've deleted something like that. So now use again B, box select and select those faces as you can see if you select a faces a face that is inside to delete it uh, not to delete but to deselect it press shift and right click on it so now that's good so now press s to scale again and scale it down until it ends something like that now let's get out of the edit mode to do this press tab again or go here and click object mode so now we have our diamond Ta -da! So now press R and X to rotate on the X axis. And then use the blue arrow that is the Z axis. So now I have it on the grid, or almost. So now let's add a plane. To do this, best press Shift A, add mesh plane. Now I'm just going to move it right here. So now something like that, or you can do this. Okay, something like that. So now let's add the color. Click on your diamond slide this up click on material then new as you can see it's not the same oh no but there's different uses to it that's what I like about this one because you have some effect that are pre-made if you want you know glass refraction um, emission velvet androscoping anyway anything so where it says surface click on that or click on diffuse if you want and look for glass so now it's going to give our diamond a transparent effect and a glass effect so so now something like that now click on color to add the color so now I'm gonna put red so here I have a red so now let's render it to do this you can go to this camera and clicking render or just pressing F12 okay as you can see it's taking more time to render because you know HD this means more graphic but I'm recording too so you know it's taking more time even so here we have our tiny diamond so then after if you want to make nicer you can escape the render to do this press escape now you can duplicate them so shift D then I'm gonna X axis you know you can duplicate them as you wish that's what I'm doing to make my scenes I always duplicating stuff so like let's say something like that so here let's see now if I'm rendering again you see the scene is much better so hope you like this tutorial leave a comment if you have any question like dislike if it's really necessary see you soon